Okay, to uh, make a mem test 86 um, ISO USB drive, just go to the mem test 86 website and go to downloads and download mem test 86 USB. That will enable you to uh, make a USB flash drive. You don't need any, you don't need to use anything like etch or anything. Uh, everything is included with the download. You don't have to use this part or anything like that. So you just unzip the folder and put it into a uh, empty folder. Just get all the contents to an empty folder. Like that. I'm going to create this empty folder. I'm going to dump all the contents into that folder and you just run um, image USB you just run image USB and that's it and you should be able to create a USB um, flash drive for mem test 86 but I didn't put a flash drive in it so I'm going to exit and uh, restart the program and uh, select the flash drive and continue. Okay, I put my flash drive in there. So I guess I'll exit. Um, now I'm going to restart the program. Okay, it's that's the flash drive that I want to. Um, put my US turn into a ISO for a mem test 86 so everything's correct just make sure you don't use the wrong USB drive because everything's going to be deleted so I'm gonna go to step 4 and just click on right after that and it's gonna give you a warning to say that everything is going to be deleted on that uh, flash drive yes I'm sure yes Now it's creating my um, USB flash drive, basically. So this is a UEFI version of MemTest86, and you have the original version. But the one that I want here is the UEFI version. So this is for more modern computers. Uh, it will not work on older computers. It probably won't work on computers that were probably um, produced before, I think, 2011. Those computers might not have a UEFI BIOSes. They, they will just have regular standard BIOSes. So you would have to download MemTest 86 4.3. And I'll make another video about that show you how to do that so right now it's just creating my uh, USB ISO disk and just wait until it finishes and after that just uh, stick the USB into just make sure the USB is in the computer restart your computer and uh, go into your BIOS and set it so that you could uh, boot from your USB flash drive that's pretty much it So while this is completing, okay. Okay, now I'm going to hook up the MemTest86 uh, UEFI uh, USB disk, put it into my uh, 
USB drive and ooh, it's a mic in my computer. So I'm gonna restart my computer. Just restart. You gotta go into the BIOS. For this computer, I think it's the delete key to get into the BIOS. I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep pressing delete. So what does deleter have to for this computer? And this computer has UEFI, so I should be able to boot from uh, UEFI. So I'm gonna go to boot here. Every BIOS is different for every computer. See boot. So let me see. Okay, there it is. There's the option for booting. Um, the first device will be the DVD ROM. Second device will be my USB uh, Budaboa disk with Memtest 86 on it. So I'm going to save changes and reset. Yes. But I should be able to get into the flash drive. Boot from the flash drive, I'm sorry. It appears to be booting into the flash drive, which it is doing right here. So this is only going to work for a computer which has a UEFI BIOS. So I'm going to go to config, and you could do a lot of tests here for your computer. You could just press S and start tests. Uh, let's see the CPU selection C. You could do tests for the CPU as well. Uh, if you want to do a RAM test, you could go to R, just press R with your keyboard, and then you could run this memory test. It has a lot more features than the original Memtest 86, the old one. I already know that my computer doesn't have any problems so I'm not going to run, run any tests on this computer however uh, you can run any tests you want on uh, on your computer if you think there's a problem with it so if you're getting a lot of blue screens and stuff like that you can test your uh, RAM you can go go to what is a RAM you could use the mouse and click on it like that or you could just press um, T A C S R S E or whatever. So I'm going to go to system information. So this is my system right here. It's i7 4790K, 4 gigahertz computer. Right now the CPU temperature is 36 degrees Celsius. So it has eight hyper threading cores. So everything is correct here about my computer. Um, this is a free version of Memtest, so I can't save anything here. So you could try to save here, and it's not going to let you. See? This option is available only in Pro version. Use the up and down arrow keys to select an option. So you can't save anything. That's the only difference between the free mem test 86 UEFI uh, bootable USB drive and uh, versus the versus the pro one.
the pro one you could save and do more stuff with it but you have to pay for it so if you um, if you're a tech technician or something you might want to purchase it but I'm just I'm just doing this as a hobbyist so I'm not gonna purchase it I just just uh, just doing this as a hobby so let's see RAM benchmark you have RAM benchmarks here you can run it you could uh, do addressing range you could test it here you could use the arrow keys to navigate or the mouse or whatever so settings again you can't save here and if you want to run the RAM test like I said you go to RAM and just just test and there's various tests block read uh, test mode you could start the test and um, and see if there's anything wrong with your RAM or whatever so that's it so I'm just gonna exit out of here I'm just gonna press E exit I'm sorry it's X to exit not E X and I just exited out of here just like that and it's pretty it's very simple to use definitely has more features than the original um, Memtest 86 which is very old I, I, I've used it since the Windows 90 five days so that's pretty much it so thanks for watching by ace 1000ks 1975 signing off